Welcome back everyone, I'm the Drestio and this is Langstrom Mobile Apex Season 11. Another long week, it's been really busy and hectic for me, and I'm pretty out of it. And it's going to show in this match. So, um, as always, I'm second player, and uh, as always, I ban Wedem, because every opponent, I th I'm fairly certain every opponent I've fought has Wedem. Just like in the past, it was every person had Rian, or every person had Juggler. Or every person has Leonhart. So it's just one of those things. So ban Wedem. They actually open with banning uh, Silvaria. I don't know if it's because this person has Silvaria as their icon and they just did not want anyone else to have her, but don't know. Um, but this person uh, opened with a tank, uh, Christian, um, when banned, uh, as I mentioned in my in last week's video, I wanted to ban Epsilon as soon as possible. Which means I'm gonna have to deal with Sherry more than likely, and then got rid of Lucretia because self-resing in long range is annoying. Went ahead and took uh, Rosen Seal as normal, banned some of my long legs and uh, assassins. I don't really know why some of the, some people ban Helena. I mean, the only reason you would ban Helena is if you're that concerned about the extra AOE debuff stuff. Which I mean, if they take Rosen Seal, it's, it's a non-issue. Um, so yeah, they take uh, Sherry. It's been a while since I've actually fought a Sherry, because usually I ban her before I ban Epsilon. Went ahead and got rid of any teleporting and extra mobility. Um, so the only extra mobility they have right now is from uh, Florentia and uh, uh, Emperor Lavina. Went ahead and took my uh, Iron Blood Commander. They get rid of my Sherry, my tank. Went ahead and grabbed uh, Elwyn, no surprise there. At this point, went ahead and got rid of um, any uh, an act again, as well as their uh, Emperor Lavina at this point. Grabbed Subame, because at this point, my opponent didn't have any AoE. In hindsight, I probably should have grabbed Zerida first, because then I would at least have a faction buff. They end up taking uh, Autocratos, and now they do have an AoE. It's a very annoying one. Uh, at this point, I got rid of all of their act agains, leaving them with just Rose and CL. And I went and took Pyrotes. They banned more of my DPS. At this point, I have nothing but DPS. This is a rare, rare occasion where I actually, my last picks are uh, Tensei Jessica and freaking uh, Lucretia. Usually, these are top bans, but obviously, against someone like uh, Christian, you don't usually have to worry as much about the. Um, the potential damage, especially with Rosen CL. So, went ahead and grabbed Lucretia. Um, Tensei Jessica would have given me more mobility, but it wasn't something I could re easily rely on. Alright, uh, standard. Well, everything's standard here with Rosen CL except for the Royal Protectors. Didn't really expect those. Um, Standard Cherry with um, Shadow Raid and Angels. Autocrado, of course. Giant Zombies with uh, his 3C and Usurp. Uh, Christiana with Angels. Uh, went with Fallen Petals. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, Fallen Petals, um, Floral Realm, and then. The uh, 3C faction buff, and then of course standard Ella with unicorns. Um, over here, Luc standard Lucretia, standard Pyrotest, uh, Iron Blood Commander brought mass attack with Antique Mercenaries, standard Subame with um, Quick Step, and then uh, a standard Rosen Seal with Shrine Maidens. So, biggest issue of course is I'm player 2, which means I don't really have turn advantage and, uh, for now, and they beat me out in mobility for now. Um, I have Subame, but since Autocrado is on the board, he has a seven range. Um, it's six range, but he has he, it's practically guaranteed that if you're up against an Autocrado, they're going to have the sort the balance blade, which expands the range by one tile. So he has a seven range, three wide uh, AOE that is super annoying. So all I can really do is just kind of spread out and hang back. So, went and just got faction buff up and running. Uh, 
国の敵を倒すのです。So in hindsight, I think I should have started closer and just risk potentially getting caught up by a ten uh, Tenyo Breeze. Uh, that would give me a bit more flexibility as far as striking first. Um, but I'm actually too far away to actually take advantage of anything at this point. So with that in mind, I just kind of spread out and do what I can. Cat, get off the desk. And um, just to kind of put it in perspective, Autocrado next turn it could go to here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is his range, and that's the that's the that's the back of the the um, of the map there. So yeah, he he has so much coverage; it's ridiculous. Oh, and of course Sherry gets a a uh, breeze proc. So yeah, heavy strike formation. I'm out of range of doing anything at this point. So yeah, I went and moved in. Took care of that Rosen Seal. I mean, I wasn't going to really have much opportunity to do much else with the. Uh, Lucretia. I'm not going to be able to pierce the Christian's angels. So I'm going to get hit with uh, 3C here. Give me one. Kills me once. Yep. That step back is actually important. Uh, because if she had stayed in place and tacked in melee, I, I, she would actually be in range of uh, my assassins. So yeah, at this point, yeah, so here's the 7 range. He was willing to just throw away his uh, 3C just to hit my Subame. So I was like, oh, okay. You did that then. <laughs> So this actually pretty much ensures that Tsubami ain't going anywhere because uh, she can only go in straight lines because I didn't actually have any crystals on her. Um, I probably should have done the, the heal first and then moved and then at least that would get me some crystal barrier stacks first. But I didn't, so that didn't happen. <laughs> so they are down their healer, um, but they do have a stack of... Uh, of the uh, crystal healing active at the moment. Um, I tried to go for kill here. Yeah, so I critted, and I was literally five, it looked like 600 damage short of killing, and that sucked a lot. Um, if I had gotten that kill, that would have probably made it so I. This match would have probably turned out quite differently. <laughs> um, so surprisingly, uh, went after my Subame. My Subame can't do anything right now because she's locked in place. Yeah. Uh, so both sides attack at the same time because they both have first strike. So at this point, I was like, "Oh well, I guess you're gonna not kill my Pirates, so I'll get capitalized kill there." Alright. Then I can just go down here, finish you off with my healer. So, for 3 on 3, I do have the pet from Lucretia still, but that ain't gonna do anything with Christiane around. So, I went ahead and moved down, and then I went ahead and just attacked the tank at this point, because I have to. I have no way of piercing guard at this point. Yeah, I was 2300 short of actually getting the first kill, which is annoying. And unfortunately, she does have first strike, so it's uh, not fun. Yeah, normal strike, more than enough to kill. Yeah. And then gonna go ahead and attack, from ra attack within guard range. It's only her, because angels don't have range. 
帝国の敵を倒すのです。So yeah, at this point I'm now outnumbered. But they don't have, they technically don't have healers, but they all have some sort of passive healing except for Christian, but Christian has a self res. So Autocrato attacked uh, with Usurp. Almost kills himself. Yeah, what's really annoying about Autocrato, uh, part of the reason why he kind of, he kind of got a more use is because of his uh, exclusive, which allows him to steal buffs. Um, it's pretty brutal. So yeah, Serp here, uh, I'm guessing he got a Clock Proc. Yeah, he got a Clock Proc. Uh, this ability also drains buffs as well. So pretty annoying. Um, it also does a Displace, but obviously I had the Golem in the way. So I can't move. Uh, why can't I move again? You have five move. I don't know what I don't know what's locking me in place. Oh, I know why. It's cause it, it's it's because of the phases. I'm not, I'm in I was in stance phase, that's why I had, I had no movement. Okay, I was kind of confused about that. Anyway, um, I went ahead and just stayed in place and buffed. Uh, I used this opportunity to kind of take advantage of my passive healing from my soldiers and the passive healing from um, Rosen Seal. Hit with another Usurp. And unfortunately, he does get a move again. I'm guessing he has Spirit Boots. So yeah, I went ahead and moved here, got faction buffs up and running. Biggest issue here is the is the uh, cherry. So I managed to kill her once. And self -res. So here's the here's one of my major mistakes. Um, I was really trying to keep Iron Blood alive, and the easiest way to keep her alive was actually to move her here, and then use her formation to do a line formation, which would have not only given me a heal, but given me a buff that would essentially give me passive healing as well. Um, I think it's like before combat or after combat or something like that, but I didn't do that, so I'm getting far less healing than I should be. Which kind of sucks. So yeah, not much I can do about it. Goes to go ahead and kills my, uh, kills my pet. So now I can't even do the formation now, because I only have two players. So at this point I was like, I need to make some progress here. She does have first strike, which nearly kills me, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, more passive heals. Troops against holy, holy troops essentially. Get more of my buffs gobbled up. Go ahead and heal up. Strike, lose majority of my troops. Didn't actually do a lot of damage there. All right, gonna get hit with uh, 3C here. Um, Crystal Barrier will take care of the stuns. So I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, even with a crit, it wasn't enough to kill. And she doesn't have Twilight Star, so I have fixed damage immunity. Keep poking at my uh, my units here. And steal my buffs over and over again. They're trying. So yeah, pass turn in place. Obviously the mist coming in. I'm gonna get hit with the 3C, which finally got off cooldown. 
So yeah, because of the swap, I actually was kind of safe. Also, I didn't really have to worry too much about the, the, the special debuffs because of the crystal barrier. So all it did was just kind of move me closer. So at this point, I was like, I need to kill you. Can we please make that happen? Thank you. <laughs> all right. My buffs are all gone again. So yeah, she moves up, does Sat Shadow Raid, which doesn't do very much because it's a you're, it's a range attack and you're doing it in a melee. So here I, I screw up. So I had a choice between attacking Sherry or attacking Autocrado. Um, I was a little bit of, uh, worried about attacking Sherry because obviously angels, but. Cherry is far more dangerous than Autocrado at this point. Yeah, reduced magic damage taken by 45%. I think even then I still should have went for her. Um, I should I would have easily done enough damage. Which unfortunately puts me in this situation where I'm gonna get double hit. Almost gets kill. Yeah, so the problem is is um so yeah, what what screws me screwed me there is the fact that Iron Blood Commander actually has a really slow attack, <laughs> um, which is also another reason why I should have attacked with um, I should have attacked Sherry because more than likely my troops would have hit first and taken care of the angels. Um, so yeah, unfortunately with that, I, there's no way I can win. Uh, Sherry's getting passive healing every turn because of her. Um, uh, I think it's from a Raging Storm. No, sorry, it's from a Gallop. But yeah, with that, unfortunately, I do give up and. That is that is the match. So yeah. Well, go ahead and do this real quick. Yeah, so I'm gonna get hit here. I do practically no damage. She has angels. I literally can't do anything to her. At this point I give up. Because I'm also losing in damage. So yeah. Um, multiple mistakes. Um, but it was the only it was really the only match worth showing. I did win my next match against Apex Loser, uh, but that was because my opponent essentially DC'd. Um, honestly, it wasn't really a, a match I should have even had. Well, I think there was a chance of me winning because honestly, my opponent's choices were not great. But it was uh, I made a kind of a significant error in this match as well. Um, so yeah. Some things to point out, Iron Blood Commander, their Iron Blood Commander did not bring any um, attack buff. Hilda brought her own faction buff. Frozen Seal didn't bring a faction buff. So she can't she would have been able to buff herself and Iron Blood. Absalon of course can buff himself and so can uh, Elwyn. Um, obviously I had the same usual setups for Sylvaria, Subame, and Pyrotes. Um, also had Frozen Seal. Uh, as usual, and then I brought Narm because I was like, oh yeah, I can just use Sprint and get myself my attack buff and my mobility buff. Now you can clearly see I did not remember to actually switch over to Sprint on my Narm. So I went into this fight with literally the only attack buff that was available was uh, Sylvaria's, which would cost her a turn, which I can't afford. Or, you know, it, or from uh, the faction buff that Rosen Sealed has that she which only affects herself and Sylvaria in this case. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, quickly go through this. There's at least one combat worth showing. So yeah, my opponent did some weird stuff. So at this point I'm 10 spaces away with Sylvaria, aiming right at their um, Epsilon. Epsilon's not in any special terrain. Uh, the only thing that could possibly happen is uh, Epsilon can get a um, miracle buff from Rosen CL, and that's about it. So, yeah, heavy strike formation, pretty standard. This is with no crit, by the way. I need to do 12,000 damage. And I did 
about 15,000, so it was definitely within kill range. And that's really all I wanted to show. There's not much else. Um, I did some... Yeah, I mean, I move up with this. I'll show... So this is an essentially mostly unbuffed Iron Blood Commander. I have Miracle buff. And I think I get some terrain bonuses. I don't remember what... I don't think Assassins get the terrain bonus, though, like Archers. But yeah, I do Dark Thorn. This is with no attack buff. And I have no crit. Yeah, I, th I didn't even get through. I didn't even get through the troops. <laughs> that's that's what happens when you didn't bring, don't bring a faction buff. So yeah, at this point, um, I don't. I I did notice towards the end that they had the little disconnect icon. I don't know when that actually appeared, but this Iron Blood Commander, thanks to. Um, the plus two mobility could have gone to here. Uh, did her Scarlet Awakening to break the stealth here and then kill Subame. Uh, Silvaria can't really do too much because her her primary attack is the snipe ability, which requires a setup. Um, this Elwin, by the way, I guess to point out is this Elwin has Golden Knights and not actually a unicorns, so his mobility just absolutely sucks on this map because it's mo mostly deserts, um, which Cav don't do well on. But instead, they, my opponent opted to just heal. And so I was like, alright, well, you let me get kill here, so killing machine. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have went here instead, but I don't think it would have made a difference. Yeah, the way he was positioned, I wouldn't, wasn't going to be able to reapply stealth. So another thing to go ahead and point out here, um, my opponent, Elwin, only went two steps instead of possibly going three. Or more, I mean... I know he had the issue with the terrain, but he could have easily kind of looped around, uh, especially with his uh, Reign of Glory or whatever it's called. But he didn't do that, which was kind of weird. Um, so I ended up having first strike, which weakened up enough so I can actually survive a hit. But yeah, at this point, there's not really much to talk about. Um, I was essentially going to go ahead and just buy time for Sylvaria, and then I, that's when my opponent officially... I noticed the icon, and then my opponent just officially DC'd at that point. So yeah, that was kind of my win for the for the uh, for the week, unfortunately. So that's why I went ahead and showed the other match, which was pretty interesting. I honestly, it was a match I should have won. Um, it was definitely a close match, so it's it's getting there. I'm definitely deserving of my gold three rank. So uh, until next week, I'm the Depressed Dealer. This was Langshire Mobile Apex Season Eleven. See you guys later.